everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick little look at something in Android Wear, which was a little confusing to me when I first started getting these watches set up. I've only just started reviewing Android Wear smartwatches. So when I connected my Asus Zen watch to my Galaxy Note 4, I got a little notification saying Android Wear connected running sync loop. Whereas when I connected my LG G watch with my G3, it just says Android Wear connected. And of course, being the gadget nerd that I am, I just couldn't let it rest. I had to figure out what was going on. Really, it just seems to come down to developer options. We like to be able to do things like create screenshots of the gadgets that we're reviewing. And that means unlocking things like developer tools. So we're gonna do a quick test with my G3 and my G Watch. Uh, we're gonna unlock the developer tools on this G Watch and see if that changes the persistent notification on Android Wear. So unlocking developer tools on an Android Wear is very similar to unlocking developer tools on an Android phone. We're gonna come down to, not restart, not change watch face, about the watch. And this is, and this G watch has recently been updated to Lollipop, but we need to find the build number. And we're just gonna keep tapping on this build number. One step away from being a developer, you are now a developer. So you find your build number in the about settings on your watch and you just basically keep tapping it until you get to that option where you are a developer. I'm gonna flick that away and now we have developer options down here. So I'm gonna come back to my phone here on this G3 and we're gonna disable Bluetooth. Just let it kind of clear out for a second. And now we're gonna reconnect. And now you see Android Wear connected running sync loop. That's really all there is to it, folks. So for those of you who went through and you wanted to find the process for creating a screenshot, by the way, creating a screenshot in Android Wear is in the Android Wear app. So if I pull up, we'll do this. We can do seven missed calls. You go to your little three dot menu there and now you should have an option for take wearable screenshot. That's where you find it, it's in the Android Wear app. But for those of you who turned on the ability to take screenshots or to dig into the other developer options on your watch, that's why your persistent notification now shows connected running sync loop. And this phrase, running sync loop, well, I actually have no idea what that means. So if you're one of those really savvy programming people, maybe you're a developer, you've been working on Android or Android Wear applications, uh, definitely drop me a comment down below because I'm, I'm always curious what, where these phrases come from, what the etymology of that phrase is. If you could illuminate this concept for us, I would, uh, I would definitely appreciate it. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing these reviews if you all weren't out there sharing them with your family, friends, and on social media. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.